So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. Quite a contest we have in store. Just listen to the noise level from the stands. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. The perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Things running. Fabinho. Looks to slip it through. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. It's a good looking cross. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Jao Moutinho goes long and forward, going for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. in the script and you have to feel for him Peter it's ended in uh, some embarrassment Monaco got some help from Lady Luck there, they all count. Tries a through ball. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then. And I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Pumps it upfield. He's through the middle. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's Falcao! It's anyone's ball. Goes for it! He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. immediate danger battles to win it back aim forward just needed to be better than that and he knows it 
just off target. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and it always favoured the keeper in that instance. Adrian Silva picks it up from the goal kick. Looks like a good ball through. Really well taken goal. Well, oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Sporting Lisbon at the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Shoots! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Idea, just poorly executed. Now the pass. And he's there to hoof it away. Who's going to make this theirs? Falcao passes it through. Can he finish? Is it in? Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time, it would have sneaked in. Plays it out to the wing. the pass great build up it all deserved a better ending oh he can't be happy missing that after the put clean through that's about as good a chance as you can get looks like a good ball through and we've reached half time that's a really interesting game and they head in at half time at 1-1 That's the second half started. Tries a through ball. Chance! Looking to force his way through. Big moment! Massive goal! Well, when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It all goes well. So Cal versus the keeper, and only one winner. Well, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. Monaco get themselves into the lead. Adrian Silva. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Falcao. Fabio Cointrao. Oh, that had to be more accurate. 
tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Looks to slip it through. Goes for goal! It's a loose ball. Good clearance and very necessary. A great save, real class. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. has got rid of that. Falcao hits it! That's gone a long way up and away. Tries a through ball. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Can he find a finish now? Spoon forward. Passes it through. He's off on a marauding run. Goes for goal! He has done it! And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. This is quite a battle. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Falcao plays it into the channel. Monaco get it back again. Tries to swing it in. It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a to a loss of focus. Monaco, their final change. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Now it's Falcao. He goes long. Now here's the through ball. Sporting Lisbon have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep tugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Camille Glick gets it back. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Now the pass. Guates tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Has a pop! Back of the net! Two up and threatening to pull clear! You've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier.
two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Is it in? And that would have been some goal. Yeah, I thought he did very well to make the most of the space down the middle. It's good intelligent play. Looks like a good ball through. Fabio Coimchao taps it out. The final whistle. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief. Thank <laughs> you.